All right, welcome back. It is 14 January 2022, and we have we have a sea of green. We have a sea of green at Bitcoin at 43,000, Ethereum 3300. Doji should be up, Doji Coin, because Tesla said they're going to start accepting Doji Coin, Doge Coin, whatever you call it. They're going to start accepting it, but it's only holding at 18 cents yet. Oh well. I think the high was 60 cents or something uh, a few months ago. All right, so see a green, good things, holding at 43. Like I said, if it drops below 40, then I probably say sky is falling, Durka Durka, we're all gonna die. But right now we're holding at 43,000. Things are looking good. Uh, probably because the big guys are buying in, right? They're stacking coins. They brought the price down by 20,000 bucks so they could buy in and build up their clients. Uh, portfolios. Now, come on. Again, I always say it. Big club, you ain't in it. So you're just long for the ride. Okay, let's go on. Today, let's talk hash rates. I got two articles from the same author today. Let's just see what's going on here. Kablamo. All right, NVIDIA GE Force RTX 3080 12 gigabyte hash rate for cryptocurrency mining. So they're going to they're gonna come out with what they think the hash rate's gonna be, uh, good hash or just another piece of skunk. Ha <laughs> ha, funny, I got it. Well, that's fair too, because NVIDIA put that LHR light hash rate stuff in there to uh, basically throttle mining. And it wasn't, it really was kind of, kind of not a cool move. And I, I do own NVIDIA stock, so I don't know what they're thinking. I think if NVIDIA would just focus, I always say it, they should focus on the crypto mining community. My Lord, they have such revenue. Just branch off, have your gaming guys, have your data analysis guys that do modeling and stuff, then have your crypto guys. My gosh, there's three streams of revenue from, you know, maybe the same platform. Make a 3080, one for mining, one for video games. Uh, I don't know if anybody wants LHR. Why would a, even a gamer want LHR? I, if something's limiting your card, why would you want that? I don't know, especially at the high price tag. Yeah, so let's go on. So this 3080 is the one they announced is coming out. It's a 12 gigabiter. And so this article goes through. Let's go, it goes through and kind of talks about what the hash rate's gonna be. So she she's basically saying, if you're looking for the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte hash rate, you're in luck. We've got all the details of the 3080's hash rate and just how it all compares so you can make your crypto mining as efficient as possible and choose the best graphic card to mine on. All right. With the imminent arrival of 3080 Tokyo, many uh, will be anxious to know what kind of performance to expect. But we got all the details for you right here. Okay, good. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go through it. So I read this and I was kind of like, I was kind of like sticker shocked. I went, what? The, uh, look at this paragraph. What is the hash rate of a uh, 3080 12 gigabyte? 3080 12 gigabyte has a hash rate of, ready? 52 mega hash, ETH hash rate. Is that it? For a 3080? What? I'm, I'm new to this. I'm only what, let's see. End of September, let's say October, November, December. I'm let's say four months into this mining journey, this hobby, this fun little sideshow I'm doing, you know, learning and uh, making money and making passive income. And I'm even saying, based on what I know, that's kind of crap. God, and God knows what they're gonna ask for this card. I'm, I'm thinking north of a thousand, right? Supply demand, right? Of course, this result means that the 3080 on the die has a light hash rate. Oh man, well, what? Yeah, all right, they're putting a light hash rate in. Okay, meaning that you can also consider this a 3080 12 by LHR. While it's disappointing, yeah, it, yeah, that's to say the least, right? Like I said, Nvidia, I own your stock. Make a crypto mining revenue stream. Make a product line for crypto miners. You won't be disappointed. I don't know. All right, it's also the op uh, default option for many NVIDIA GPUs coming out since everything's LHR. I think everything's LHR. They should just get rid of the LHR thing. I don't think the 3090s are LHR. Yeah, but who wants to spend all that money on a GPU? That's a lot of money. All right, here's the breakdown. 3080 is 101 mega hash. The 3080 LHR, 
3080 Ti, 85.41, 85.4 at 257. Let me check, I got my screen up here. Uh, okay, I'm about two on average, 275 on my power consumption per the software. I'm running uh, T-Rex Miner, hash rate, uh, about 88, 89. So I'm burning a little more juice, but I'm getting about 89 mega hash 90. I see 90s pop up now and then. Uh, that's using the uh, T-Rex Miner uh, overclock, absolute core clock setting. That helps give you a little more juice. All right. So what's this? Here's the one we're talking about. 38, 12 gigabyte is 52. That's a big major disappointment. It should be. Oh my God. It should be at least more than a 3080 Ti, I would think. I don't know. It's me. All right, we calculate the stock hash rates of the following graphics cards using the Dagger Hashimoto protocol, which is the ETH mining hash rate for the aforementioned cards. The RTX 38 12 gigabit LHR is the outlier in this scenario. Yeah, that's to say the least. However, the source for the hash rate on this car is sourced directly from a marketing deck that was sent to us from an AIB manufacturer, Asus. Okay, and therefore it could be improved once the car gets into users' hands. I don't know, 52 as a base, you're probably gonna get maybe, I don't know, I'm just guessing. What do you get, 20% more, maybe? I don't know. We'll be sure, all right, let's see, they're gonna update the graph once the 38 is in their hands. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, what to expect is likely that the uh, 2080, what's this? They meant 3080, right? In the middle of the, yeah, they meant typo. Uh, in the middle of the 3080 LHR and the 38 Ti model, so Asus purport, purport <laughs> very low that's to say the least like I said very low 52 mega hash we think that this could actually be slightly higher once tuned slightly higher again I think 20% higher is still crap using the right programs and networks in a correct conversion yeah and also will the software guys even care to say oh, are we gonna crack this thing eh. Eh. I don't know I don't know you don't know it's worth keeping your eyes off on this though the best 38 to purchase if you can find one is a 3080 non LHR, which will offer the best ETH mining hash rate out of the entire bunch. And what was that again? Blah, blah, blah. That was 101 schmackaroos, baby. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love to get that. I might have to start, uh, I might have to start digging around. I've been real lazy about looking for older cards. Oh, new is better. New is better. Nope. If you can find an older card, but where to find it? That's the problem. I don't trust eBay. You know, I just don't trust eBay as a platform. Let's see. So that's it on the 3080 12 gigabyte. Big disappointment. And I will say this, I have been buying, I've been buying the AMD 6600 XTs. And uh, if you look at my Discord, where, oh, I turned it off. So anyway, my Discord, I do have in stock alerts pop up. And I actually look for the 30, uh, I mean the 6600 XT, AMD uh, GPUs and when I see one I'll click on it see what the price is sometimes it's been high lately it's um, where are we in this stock here we go in stock alerts here we have a 6600 XT 8 gigabytes a, a XT mech 8 gigabytes uh, what's this one Radeon RX 6600 XT and I went through some of these earlier and they're about 700 they're, they're still high I will see on occasion, mostly on Newegg, some of the uh, 6600s, 550 and below, sometimes 499. If you see one, do not hesitate to click, add that to your cart and check out. Even if you add it to your cart, they will pull it out of your cart and give it to some guy who is checking out. You gotta move quick. You can't just think about it. It's like, I want that, click, bam. Yeah, I've seen some sapphires out there for uh, 500. Uh, Red Devils, the best I've seen is 599 on Amazon. Amazon's always sketchy as well. You never know what the third party guys are going to offer. That's why you want to try to get the Amazon ones. So there you go. There's some 6600 stuff. So having the reason I say this is because you see this Nvidia jerking us around. Oh, we got this new 3080 toy re, 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 woo. And then it's like, oh, it's LHR. And I bet I'm gonna get 52, maybe 60 mega hash on E, and E's gonna go away. What do I want this thing for? What are you guys doing? Yeah, I don't know. 
Anyway, whatever. And having said that, let's zip over to some more from the same editor, the same author, the writer, whatever. This is the 3050 hash rate. Right now they're only out in mobile, but the, the uh, desktop RTX 3050 is almost here. Meaning that we've almost got our look at the RTX 3050 hash rate for cryptocurrency mining uh, very soon. And they're going to guess here what it is, right? With 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, this entry level card could be worth it for those looking for a slightly less power hungry crypto mining card with the card seemingly in regular supply. It could be a pretty good option for those looking to build out their own home farming setup with the efficiency that's not afforded by sheer power draw of higher end graphics cards. Again, that's why I like the AMD 6600 XT. It draws about 60 watts and I'm getting 32 mega hash on ETH. ETH hash mining. Not bad. The 1660 Supers get close, uh, pretty much the same. They were drawing double the power until I put in the uh, T-Rex Miner absolute uh, core clock setting. And that I did, that dropped the uh, power consumption immensely while, while keeping the um, the ETH hash, hash rate constant. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, you don't know. You just gotta watch, watch a video. Watch, what did I say? Watch lots of videos, consume the information, most of it's garbage, right? And then go test yourself. I didn't believe it until I went and started. I took one card and said, let me play with this T-Rex Meyer, get the latest. Let me try this Clark setting. Kablamo! It worked. I said, I'm sold. And it was stable. I was sold again. And I put it into my main rig and it's running happy ever since. All right. What's the 3050? It's probably another big disappointment. Currently, the hash rate for the 3050 mobile is a big whopping 22.25 uh, as we do not have numbers for what the desktop model was able to reach i'm going to say it's comparable i'm going to say let's say 25 again go with 20 percent we will be uh sure to update this as the desktop version of the graphics card releases to make sure that you have everything you need to know about the rtx 3050 hash rate is it lhr i bet yes i'm gonna have to say yes all right what to expect. Uh, the 3050 is in fairly good standing considering the wealthy specs that make it more than up for the job in order to get a respectable return when it comes to mining. Though we will still need to confirm the hash rates of the card itself with an MSRP of 249 I don't think so. It's an incredibly attractive option for those looking to get their own budget mining rate. I don't buy this one bit. That's ridiculous. I bet. I bet a 3050 when they put these puppies out there, at least 500 bucks starting. Yeah, come on, 249? No, I don't buy it. Mark my words. Mark my words. I'm just saying, I don't buy it. I don't know, man. I'm I'm new. Like I said, I'm four months into this, and I am definitely switching. I'm I'm waiting for the Intel stuff to come out. I had their website up. I looked at Intel GPUs. I think Asus is coming out with one version of it. I need to I need to learn more about. It. I don't know enough about the topic or what Intel is doing. Uh, that's going to make a third a third player in the GPU game, and maybe it will help uh, give Nvidia a little attitude adjustment. Who knows? All right, so there you go. Thirty fifty, kind of a blah. I mean, you're kind of teasing with a low price, which is not going to happen. And the old thirty eighty twelve gigabyte is a big disappointment. You know late to the party no one's gonna buy it uh yeah i don't know what's going on there just drop that late lhr crap and go back to the old 3080s like this man i am a I, i'm telling you guys nvidia listen focus on this right here please make a crypto mining line sell the rtx 3080 the way it used to be the 101.58 mega hash on eth at a nice 224 watt because the 3080 Ti, 3080 Ti is getting 280, so I like this a lot. I'm gonna actually go shop around now for one of these and see if I can find it. I might set up one of my little um, product watchers to see if I can get this card. But you got to be careful when you're buying a used card and make sure it's not an LHR and make sure it is what it is. Make sure you get the right serial numbers and everything. I don't know. So there you go. There you go. 14 minutes in. Woo! Sorry guys. Two articles. We covered two articles about disappointing hash rates on cards that are going to be, eh, meh, I don't want it. Do you want it? I don't want it. You want it? I don't know. We'll see. And as we speak, NVIDIA stock is down. As with anything, when I buy a stock, it drops 
Case in point, Nvidia has dropped 30%. I'm like, what is going on here? Oh, well. Hey, all right. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys are buying. If you can find a, a 3080 non-LHR card, I don't know. what. Where would you look? I mean, I, I, I hate to buy one in person because I'll probably get knifed, but uh, I'd rather just buy it online somewhere. But God knows where they're at. Everyone's buying these things up if they can find them. Strange world, but yeah. Anyway, I'm becoming an AMD convert. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.